My great-grandfather made the first hamburger sandwich in the United States. That's what we're known for. Having a dad that owned a burger place when I was growing up didn't mean a lot at the time because I was so young. The restaurant was more like a playhouse for me. I thought I was cleaning underneath the cushions and my dad would hide money under there and nickels and dimes and quarters and, you know, hey, dad, I found this and hey, dad, I found that. It was, it was kind of cool. But as I started to get older and he started to get into the fight with the city, I became more aware of everything going on and supporting my dad as best I could for a young guy. Back in the early 60s, they called it Urban Renewal. They did something similar to uh, mom and pop stores where they tore the businesses down to make room for whatever. And all those people lost their livelihoods. I think that was just goes hand in glove with what they were trying to do to my dad. He wasn't gonna take it. My dad was very easy going when it came to personality. He'd be able to look at somebody and say, you know, well, you don't look the same today. What, what, what's bothering you? What's on your mind? He was there for everybody and that's, that's the way he always was. The customers actually came to him and said, you know, what can we do? How can we help? Is there anything we can do? So my father said, well, if you go on vacation, there's a brick lane in front of a building or on the side of the road or something, bring it back and I'll incorporate it when the time comes, if and when the time comes. There were bricks everywhere. If you ask my mother, <laughs> way too many. They were in the basement of the house. They were in the garage. He got them in the mail, you know, with little letters on it, their name, where it was from, how they got it. It was all part of his plan, one way or the other. Hopefully it was going to work. People were coming towards him at all angles. Why are you fighting? You know, you're probably not going to win. Why don't you give up? Why don't you just try something else? I think the prior two generations, his grandfather and his father, and what they had built up till that point was in the back of his mind. You don't want to be the one that lets everybody down. If it crumbled, it would have destroyed my dad, most definitely. It would be like a spouse losing their other half when they were married for 60, 70, 80 years. It would destroy that person. And one day, a lady in Florida read about it in the, the Tampa Times in the fight my father was having with the city. She happened to own the piece of property that we're on now. She called her lawyer and said, call them up, see if you can make a deal that's equitable to both sides and sell my piece of property. And that was a week before we were supposed to be torn down. My name is Jeff Lassen. I've been here 37 years, and I am the fourth generation proprietor of Louise Lunch.